In around 1968, John Baldessari began to doubt the idea that painting equaled art and art equaled painting. Thinking that art meant more than that, he later cremated all the paintings he made between 1953 and 1966, which made enough ash to fill nine boxes. The work was titled The Cremation Project. I think this decision says a lot about his character, showing qualities such as courage, skepticism, and willingness to change, because he's not only destroying 13 years of time and hard work, but he's also letting go of previous beliefs and ideas that arguably make up a big part of his identity. After all that is gone, what do you have left? The idea must be frightening to many artists. He describes the action as cremating himself in a way so that he can start anew. John Baldessari was born in National City, California in 1931. He's often referred to as a California artist or a conceptual artist, but he describes such labels to be wrong or inaccurate and would rather be known as just an artist. He created works across a variety of mediums such as paintings, prints, artist books, installation, and performances, and lists Giotto and Mantegna as some of his influences. In a 2009 film for his exhibition, Pure Beauty, the artist says, doing art is the only thing I've come across that gives me any idea that I'm anywhere close to understanding what the universe is about. I think that's what drives me. In 1971, shortly after the cremation project, John Baldessari made the performances, I am making art and I will not make any more boring art. Similar to Van der Werf, whom I discussed in a separate video, John Baldessari describes boredom and trying not to be bored as the beginning of creativity. So we're repeatedly seeing a connection between the two. But I find the artist's choice of words to be interesting. Van der Werf describes boredom as a luxury, whereas John Baldessari describes it as a lifelong disease in which I suppose he tries to remedy through creating, saying, I guess the boredom part of me is something genetic. It's like having a disease you have to contain all your life. John Baldessari is perhaps best known for his dotted prints, but I came to know him through a different work. In 1972, John Baldessari made the performance Teaching a Plant the Alphabet. In the video, we see the artist holding up alphabet cards and repeating each letter to a plant until he has completed the alphabet. B, 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 B. Kenneth Goldsmith describes the work as being an exercise in futility, an absurdist lesson in cognition and recognition, that Baldessari creates illogic from a logical construct, making nonsense from sense. But for some reason, when I look at their performance, I can't help but see it as a gesture of kindness, as though the person would care so much as to not only take the time to care for a plant with water and sunlight, but to even be social and teach it the alphabet, as if he's adopting the plant and trying to raise it as his own. It reminds me of Buddhism and the idea that plants and insects are considered as sentient beings, meaning they're able to perceive or feel things. Perhaps it could also be said that the work, in a funny way, is an example of taking better care of all life, no matter how insignificant, futile, or unnecessary it might seem.